The next thing that we're going to do is create a fave icon. So what is a fave icon? A fave icon is um, the top icon right up here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little tiny icon. And um, to do that, it's super easy. So let's go ahead and minimize this. And it really just polishes off your website. So if you see right here on our website, it doesn't have a fave icon. It just has like a little paper. Um, so how do we do that? So first we go to customize. And then we go to header options and we go to site identity on the left. All right, once we do that, it says site icon. So it wants it to be 512 pixels wide and tall. So a perfect square that's 512 tall, 512 wide. So we don't have an image that is exactly those dimensions. So let's go ahead and create them in Logo Maker. So let's go to logomakr.com. And uh, we could click off of this. And we can see this uh, fave icon, their fave icon up here. It's just a bunch of shapes. It's pretty cool. And so now we need to get that, um, let's get that Google Cardboard, the logo in there. Let's get this logo in there. So again, we need to go to iconfinder.com and search for glasses. And again, we need to download the SVG because that's the vector format. So that's the format that can be scaled as big as you want it to be. It could be on a billboard and it won't lose quality. So we download that and I'm just going to download that to my desktop. And once we download that, we can um, put it into, you just drag it in from your desktop. All right, now that it's in, we need to make it the correct color. We can keep it black, but um, you can make it any color you want. This is, you know, a bunch of colors. This, this is just black and white. We're just going to stick with um, a nice gray. So just click the paint bucket and make it gray. But now we need to make it bigger. So um, there's going to be like a logo size and then a cropping size because there's going to be a little space on the side. So the logo size, we're going to make it, if you can see this logo width and height here, we're going to make it 509, I believe. Uh, maybe maybe 58. All right, so if we make it 508 wide, and you can see that, you'll be able to see it if you go to Logo Maker. Then up here on the top right, it's going to turn into 512 by 207 and 207 because this um, is not very tall so we need to go ahead and man manually change that to 512 and there we have it a perfect 512 by 512 square then we can save that and let's save it to our desktop and let's just save it as faveicon.png All right, so that's saved to our desktop. And now the really easy part, we can just select the image, upload files, select files, and find it and open it and select it. All right, once we do that, we can see up here that it has changed. So that's pretty cool. And we can save and publish. And now our website is super polished off. Let's go ahead up here and let's complete this lesson. And we are 93% done. So we're very close.